Centre for Virtual Environments has developed an important teaching tool for training young people in building construction. This significant development has possibilities in a wide range of applications. Here's Paul Welshman to tell us more. Um, the Vibe is a pilot project we are currently doing with the Specialist Schools and Academies Trust. Uh, and it's aimed at the uh, 14 to 19 year old uh, demographic. Um, basically next year there's going to be some diplomas that come into secondary education, uh, the equivalent of, of four GCSEs. And what we're trying to do is create some resources uh, that will appeal to that target market. So we've actually um, created some resources based around the construction diploma that's due to be launched. Um, and we've specifically singled out brickwork as something that we felt was was quite easy uh, to actually to actually visualise. So we're going to create, uh, or we have created, a range of resources uh, based on games engine technology. We taught brickwork uh, by using diagrams, and then we go out into the field and we start to build bricks. With the vibe, we can look at it with diagrams. We can do the practical, but at that in between stage. We can uh, work with it on the screen. The boys can uh, make a make a wall, and they can realise the drawings on the screen. For a lot of students, they do have trouble understanding drawings sometimes initially. But if they can see the uh, the walls in 3D, and with their gaming skills, they can access that knowledge. Then, when I show them a drawing, and they've got to work from a drawing, I think it's made uh, an improvement on their ability to understand the concepts initially, and help them to, to view things in a three-dimensional way immediately. Uh, where sometimes if you're working uh, in a 2D environment on paper, they've got to realise or visualise the wall in 3D, where with the vibe they can rotate the wall around, they can pick the brick up and turn it around and drop it around and select the right brick. So it's a starting point for a lot of students and it's, it's their first point of understanding, so I can truly differentiate my lessons. As I think succinctly are the, you know, the health and safety aspect, so you don't need to wear a hard hat in front of a computer. Uh, there's the logistics of having 30 children all crammed onto a building site in terms of being able to get access to the tools and such like. So you, you've got that element. And then there's the, the, the sort of virtual practice, if you like, the, the learning before you go on site, the reinforcing of the, the personal protection, the health and safety. So they are, when they get onto the real environment, they recognise it, they're able to, to understand that, yes, I do need these, this equipment on. I do need to take this approach to go on. And they've already had their virtual hands on virtual bricks, so they understand the patterns, they understand the, 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 the methods that they have to use, and it's not all brand new to them. So they've actually had a go, but they've not had their hands dirty, so to speak, and this is their opportunity when they get, when they get on site to do that. So it's that important preparation where they can do it in a safe and controlled environment that is key to is key to using this technology. So it's easy to use um, and I mean the models for the building itself come in handy and the, the whole program's handy for whatever you need to do with it. Schools have a lot more computers than they used to and computers are a main part of everyday school life. Um, whether it be with ICT or construction or anything, just, just word processing and stuff like that. It's, it's main parts of school are computers now. I do play games every so often. I've just like, I've started on flight simulators on computers and everything now as well. So I've got an Xbox and all that. But um, it's in the same family, I reckon, as a computer game, as the way it's designed and the way it's done and the way it's used as well uh, with the mouse and everything it's it's similar to a computer game there's a lot less wastage of cement and stuff if you're practicing on the computer but when you start when you finish your practices and you're going to go out and do the real thing there's only little things you have to practice like buttering up the brick and stuff like that and you don't have to do that on this but um, it's, it's easy to practice what bonds and stuff to put, how to put it together and then when you go out and do it for real you, you're a li little bit less likely to make mistakes therefore there's a lot less wastage of bricks and mortar and stuff like that. Safety, yeah, outside you've obviously got your PPE, uh, steel toes, uh, 
hard hats and gloves and stuff like that. But you, obviously, it's not needed on the computer, really. <laughs> I think this is a lot easier than some of the stuff that I use at home. And uh, I use pretty easy stuff at home because uh, I'm a lazy like that. <laughs> the vibe of the teaching tool, I feel, is successful. So they can access the bricks and the resources on the vibe. Where I'm just telling them about it, it can seem quite boring, really. But where there's an interactive resource there, it makes my life a whole lot easier.